to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game video. Today we're going to be talking about the live stream that's been going on earlier today and some of the issues associated with the game and that will be addressed and stuff. So uh, if you didn't watch the live stream today, Gun Interactive did a community update with Matt and Nugget since Mas Russ was missing today. He was out sick, unfortunately, but unfortunately, there wasn't a whole lot of good news regarding the meta and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of new content coming up, which is really good, and I'm looking forward to. The next patch will be on April 30th, and following that, they'll have weekly patches, which is really nice. Or, sorry, bi-weekly patches, so every two weeks, which is really nice. Uh, considering that there's been a very uh, long period of just kind of no updates for a while, so it's going to be nice to have more content. Um, at least bug fixes, and they also said that they're going to be dropping content with every patch, uh, with the latest content being added on April 30th. So that'll be nice. They've got one new cosmetic for a family member coming. Uh, they haven't said which one, because we're still a little early out for that, so again, another stay tuned for that, unfortunately. But luckily, there is a bug fix coming up and new content, so that's some good news. On to the bad news, though, unfortunately, they haven't had any progress on the fixing the lobbies. That's the one thing that's killing this game. Unfortunately, this game is just a pure lobby simulator at this point. It's really hard to get into matches, and when you do, there's like a 40% chance that someone's going to dodge. And because of the backfill issues, the lobby will break. So you, you can sometimes spend an upward of like 30 minutes trying to get into a match. Which is really, really bad for those who love this game, such as myself. It is a major issue. Now the good news is that they do have updates coming out soon to readdress some of the perks and change up the meta. So for example, uh, they'll be making some significant adjustments to the skill trees of characters. So for example, uh, Anna could get new perks that are better suited to her playstyle as well as Leland as well, because these perks are kind of meh, at least in my opinion since I don't play him very often. As you can see, this is level 0 and these are level 1. <laughs> but, yeah. And then, um... They're also uh, going to be adding a lot more skins as well over time. For family members, Nancy currently doesn't have any skins. Same with the Coke and Hitchhiker. They only have the default and, of course, the Bloody Killer. Uh, they did add weapons packs, luckily, which is kind of cool. But, and then you have shirtless Johnny and Ride Sissy as well, which are always nice. Free content that you don't have to pay for. But at least there is no content on the horizon. So, unfortunately, though, the lobbies are still broken, which is a major issue, and it's really killing the game at this point. Probably a lot of people are going to leave once Killer Clowns the game comes out, uh, which is going to be a major competitor to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've already put in my pre-order for the game, so but I don't have any plans on leaving Texas Chainsaw Massacre behind, because I really like this game. Of course, you can't top off Dead by Daylight, which I'm not a huge fan of anymore, but that game's been doing pretty well. They had a Twins rework recently, and I still keep up with the game, so... But, a lot of content creators just kind of left after crossplay got disabled in this game, which really killed it, at least for a while. So, but the, as uh, Matt, Matt said in the live stream, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game is not going anywhere, and the developers are working at full speed ahead, uh, cooking up uh, new uh, gameplay features in the works. 
or being able to have features and stuff, which is always nice. So, again, they're, they're just humans. We gotta let them cook. So, I need to get one of those t-shirts, actually, on a tangent. But, they're making progress. It's just gonna take a while for things to be fixed, so. And they also did mention that they're working on rebalancing things like grab, suffocating grip. And apparently this actually affects all family members from what they said in the live stream. So, but, it, because the uh, description is apparently bugged. But we'll see how, how that actually ends up. Um, so, we'll just let them keep chugging along and hopefully this game actually gets back into a good state. Matt did say that they're going through a rough patch right now, which is more than true. So, hopefully they, Gun Interactive and Black Tower Studios can actually get things back up and running smoothly. Uh, but again, we'll have to wait and see, especially with Killer Clones, the game on the horizon. It might kill this game if the devs don't get their act together and just fix more bugs and stuff. Uh, one of the major issues going on right now, which is why there have been a lack of updates, is because there's still the transition between Sumo Nottingham and Black Tower Studios. That's uh, caused a lot of bugs, like the issues in this update where Virginia's skill tree is still broken and Leatherface can't be stunned properly. Although apparently that's some gameplay features that were intended for Leatherface to not be stunned too badly. So that's always a nice buff to family, although they should make a couple of adjustments probably to make it more fair for victims. So, because I don't cater to one side, I'm a quick match main. So, I, I always hit quick match when I'm playing a game. So, although it does place me under family usually because that's what the quickest match is. But it's always nice to play victims as well. So, uh, Let's see, um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre doesn't have any plans on going anywhere, so they're going to keep on chugging and cooking, and we just got to give them time, unfortunately, to get these new patches fixed and out, and hopefully the devs will be able to fix most of the issues, and we'll be able to play the game that we love, or mostly love, if you're me. <laughs> I mean, I love this game, it's got so much potential because of all the work the devs have done, and it's just in a bit of a rough spot right now, which needs to be tuned. So hopefully they can get underway and fix most of the bugs. I'm Starman20, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more Texas Chainsaw Massacre content, and have a good one. Peace.